Welcome to this series of tutorials on working with Blockly Duo and the Hummingbird Board. Here we'll walk you through getting set up and putting together a couple of basic programs. Let's get started with the steps you'll need to take to get set up. To use Blockly Duo, you will need to have either Firefox or Google Chrome installed on your computer. We recommend Firefox, as the plugin is easier to use. In this first video, I will be using Google Chrome. You will need a CodeBender account to use Blockly Duo on your Hummingbird. Visit www.codebender.cc to create one. From the CodeBender homepage, select Register at the top right of the screen. Complete the registration and submit your account. Once your account info has been submitted, you will receive an email to confirm it. Now you will need to complete the CodeBender Getting Started Guide. Before you move through the guide, be sure to plug in your Hummingbird board with a single LED of any color to port 1. The black wire goes in the negative spot, and the colored wire goes into the positive. Select Let's Go to get started. We will need to install the CodeBender plugin. This plugin allows the Blockly Duo website to communicate with your Hummingbird. You can access the download from the CodeBender website here. Select Add App and the plugin will download to your Chrome applications. Now that the app is installed, you will be moved to testing your device, the Hummingbird board. With your Hummingbird already connected to your computer, your board should already be selected from the drop-down options. When selecting the port for your Hummingbird, it is important to note if the Hummingbird is in tethered or Arduino mode. The Hummingbird board starts in tethered mode, so if you have never placed it in Arduino mode before, then it is in tethered mode. If the board is in tethered mode, the wrong port will be displayed or no ports will appear in the port selector. First, let's take a look at what to do if the wrong ports are listed. With a port selected, click Run on Arduino. You will then be prompted to conduct a manual reset of your Hummingbird board. On the back of your board, press the reset button located near the USB port. Do not hold it down. A quick press should do the trick. Your board should now show the correct port, and it should have been switched into Arduino mode. The status light on your board should now be blinking on and off. In some situations, no ports are available to select, so let's look at what to do in this case. With no port at all selected, you will need to conduct a manual reset. Click the Reset button on the back of your board. This will cause a port to appear in your selection. Even though it may not be the correct port, you will now be able to click the Run on Arduino button, so please do so. You will then be prompted to manually reset your board again. This time, act quickly, as you will only have about 6 seconds to conduct an effective reset. Once the reset is complete, the correct port will appear and your board will be set to Arduino mode. The timing to execute these steps can be a bit tricky, so if they don't work for you after a few tries, you can also try to switch to Arduino mode using these instructions. Finally, let's look at what you need to do if your board is already in Arduino mode. In this case, Simply select the Hummingbird's port, hint, it's probably the last one, and then select Run on Arduino. You do not need to touch the reset button. The board will auto-reset and run the test program. In the end, your board should now be set to Arduino mode, and the status light on your Hummingbird board should solidly blink on and off. Your board should have automatically uploaded the test program, a blinking LED. Once the LED is blinking, the test will be complete. Now we can create and upload Arduino code with CodeBender. In the next video, we will walk you through using Blockly with CodeBender in Google Chrome.